Meetings are the bane of most people's existence. There are far too many, nothing ever gets done, they go on too long, you don't know what you're doing there in the first place. I say the real problem doesn't stem from what happens in the meeting, it's what happens before and after. Very few people in my travels around the world have I found to actually schedule time for the necessary prep and follow-up for every meeting. Prep. Almost all meetings start with everybody showing up and asking for the first 20 minutes, what are we meeting about? By then, you're running out of time, the agenda gets short shrift, and you have to schedule another meeting to catch up. Prep involves a few simple questions to ask yourself. One is, what's the outcome of this meeting? What are we meeting to accomplish? How will we know we have succeeded? What's the content that we're here to talk about? And do I need to do a little pre-reading or refresh my memory of what we were talking about last time we met? We also want to prep by thinking about your role. What role are you being counted on to play so you show up ready to make your contribution? That's the prep. On the back end, after the meeting, how many of us have ever left a meeting without a bunch of follow-ups to do? We have assignments, and yet most people forget to carve out time for those follow-ups. The most efficient time to do your follow-ups is immediately after a meeting while the topic is still fresh in your mind. So make sure you leave at least some buffer time after every meeting to immediately transfer all of your to-dos into your calendar and summarize your notes in an email. If everybody built in the necessary prep and follow time around every meeting on their schedule, we'd have less meetings, getting more done, and moving all of our projects productively forward. This is Julie Morgenstern, organizing you from the inside out.